Om Shanti and welcome back. Today we are doing the recording of 26th of August, Godly Blessing. Supreme God Father wants us to remember all the attainments which we have received after doing the 7 days understanding course of how the creation has happened and how God created us. Yes, that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. The complete knowledge about the creation, the beginning, the middle and the end of the whole world drama. And once we have this knowledge, then we are known as true Brahmins. Brahmin means somebody who knows the beginning, the middle and the end of the whole drama creation from the creator himself. So let's understand in today's blessing what does Supreme Creator need to make us understand. He says, may you reach your destination while flying in the happiness of all attainments and become an embodiment of remembrance. Now, what are those attainments which we receive, which are non-physical in nature, which are more, mostly spiritual? And when we have the spiritual attainments, automatically we don't feel like or we don't need anything in the physical world. So God says, bring into your awareness the list of all the attainments you have received from the beginning of your Brahman life until now. Now, as we shared in the beginning, Brahman life means... You know who you are, you know where you have come from, you know where you are supposed to return back to, you know the complete drama of the world, how the world was created, you understand who the supreme creator or the supreme source energy or the infinite energy or the quantum field or the godfather or Allah or whomsoever you want to call that energy as, that creation. You know the source of it all. Then you are a Brahmin. So Brahman is a title for somebody who understands the Brahmand. Brahmand in its essence means all the worlds together. Not just the physical world, but the spiritual worlds also. When you have the knowledge about all these three worlds, the three spiritual worlds and the physical world, then you understand that you are actually a Brahman. Now let's go ahead with this. God says, in essence, it would be said, there is nothing lacking in Brahman life and all of these attainments are imperishable because these attainments are nothing to do with the physical world. You have the spiritual knowledge, you have the understanding of the spirit, the soul. You have the understanding of the creation of the purest form of the soul and the degradation of the soul at the end of the drama and again purification. In science we call it as entropy. Entropy means that you add an external source of energy to bring about a balance in the two energies. So you give extra energy to bring back the normal state of the other energies. So in this, God is the supreme source, creator, field is the energy, extra energy, which brings about our consciousness to a higher level. So he's the complete entropy. Now, what we understand over here is when we are connected to this extra energy, extra form of energy, because when we are not able to overcome on our own our vices, our negativities, our impurities, our bad habits, then we need an external source. And we meditate on that external source and we learn how to meditate on that external supreme creator, the source of all energies, spiritual energies, which we need on a daily basis to feel elated, to feel happy constantly. So God then says, keep these attainments emerged in your awareness. That is, become an embodiment of remembrance and you will then easily fly in happiness. If you forget these attainments, the non-physical attainments, then you get after the physical attainments, the name, the fame, the money, the looks, the cars, the, the clothes and everything in the physical world. And again, we go back into the old habits, old world and again, stress, distress, tension, depression and many such things can come on in your life. So when we go into the spiritual world and then work in the physical world, it is much more easier. Yes, we cannot leave the physical world, but we are in the physical world as spiritual beings. Detached from any outcome, detached from any needs and desires. And automatically the Supreme Creator guides us in attaining those things. So it is not I who is thinking, it is not me who needs it, it is a supreme creator who wants us to do those things. Let's go ahead and understand further. God then says, 
keep these attainments immersed in your awareness that is become an embodiment of remembrance and you will then easily fly in happiness and reach your destination no upheaval will bring you down because you will be full of all attainment happiness and unshakable now this is something which needs to be experienced cannot be just spoken about because it could just sound like a fairy tale that anything happens around you any kind of situation comes in your life and nothing bothers you sounds like a fairy tale right it can happen only in movies right with the hero and the heroine no you are the hero you're the heroine and that's what the supreme creator wants us to become the hero and heroine of our own life but we need to become zero in the physical world that means doesn't mean that you become a beggar in the physical world it literally means that you have nothing to attach yourself you're nobody you're nothing you're no one in terms of the physical titles of this world that means you got no attachment to them once you reach that paradigm then your new paradigm starts and there's a shift in your consciousness and that is what we learn in brahma kumaris a shift in consciousness we are living in the same house doing our work doing our job doing a business doing whatsoever we have to do but with a shift of consciousness and that is what we learn in brahma kumaris you too are most welcome to learn this beautiful art of spirituality for free at brahma kumaris available for you in 150 plus countries with the som shanti